Sean Wendell, 21 from South Shields, my dad, a barber and co-owner of Urban Foods Barbershop. I went to multiple schools and it wasn't that I was a, a bad person or I was a nasty person, I think I just, the system wasn't for me. I didn't like the system, I didn't like the way the system worked, lesson and lesson and break and lesson and lesson. It was just, for me, it was completely not what I wanted to be and I started sweeping here in a barber shop, just sort of getting a feel for it uh, and I realised that I wanted to do it. I realised this is where I was meant to be in a barber shop. So that's what I'd done when I turned 16, I'd done my apprenticeship, I'd done um, two years at SP Barbering Academy and from there it's just been a roller coaster. Everything was hard work. From the day I left, I knew if I wanted to be where I want to be, I had to go out and get it. I couldn't ask for it, I had to grab it with both hands and so I just bowled it. And then I worked for different people, different shops, and I loved it. I've made good friends and from I know everybody, most people in the barbering industry in the local area I've, I know to talk to. Um, but I just wanted something for myself, someone, some place to call home, do you know what I mean? And I've got a young family, so it's, it's all about sort of creating a future for them as well. business partner Stephen so we constantly were looking at how we can improve business how we can improve more do more haircuts do better haircuts provide better services so it's kind of at the minute we're concentrating on this this shop this is going to be where where it's all built and where it all comes from I'm just going to go with the flow really see where it goes it's a bit of a ride <laughs> inspiration from other barbers who I looked up to at the time when I was sort of just I hadn't even picked up hair clippers yet. Um, me old boss Ricky Smith she was a massive inspiration for me I've seen what she'd done. She's an unbelievable barber and I've seen cool haircuts and I thought I want to do that. That's what I wanted to do and it, it was around them people at the time. Um, yeah it's basically just what, what happened. Business is definitely the most important for me now. This is sort of like my home base and I want to just sort of grow on them different different places, different towns maybe, all over worldwide. <laughs> That's the goal. Family is massive to me, it's, it is my life. Um, my dad died for a year ago, so it was kind of something I could have went a bad way, but I knew that the path that I was on at the time wasn't a very good path. Even though I'd finished my apprenticeship, I'd kind of put the foundations in. It was a big blow to the, the whole road where I wanted to go. So I had to sort of find my own way. It took about six months and then I was just deciding to go hard. Go hard, I go home. <laughs> I re-evaluated completely. I remember I sat down with my partner. I actually contemplated leaving the industry just because I kind of, not that I fell out of love with it, but I just didn't know what I was going, what, I, what was going to happen next. Um, but then I decided, nah, I'm not giving up that easy. It's not, it's, not, it's not an option really. I've done what I needed to do, so just crack on with it. And then my daughter was born and that was massive for me. I decided that was it. It's go time. <laughs> We're in Fowler Street in South Shields. The town centre is not as alive as it used to be, but I mean we are kind of bringing that back a little bit. We're bringing a bit of life to the street. Um, we know most people who pass every day and building up more people come in for a haircut and then you build a relationship on that so we're quite well known in the local area as well in, in the local people. We do actually homeless events so we bring homeless in off the street and give them a freshen up, some warm clothes, some food. We do that the Sunday before every public holiday. Um, we work with the key project in South Shields, they help us a lot. Um, it's a big problem in South Tyneside alone, never mind the UK. It's massive. Wherever you go, you'll always see a homeless person, and it's it's sad. 
and they tend to have really long hair and big beards which is a bit of a stigma so we kind of like sort of stamping out that stigma getting them nice and fresh and then we'll also go to different barber events with barber bashes stuff like that really just try and get myself about I see urban foods grown I see myself grown as a person as a businessman um, hopefully more shops more barbers staff clients I just want to grow constantly never want to stop growing never want to stop learning it's a lot more involved with barbering as a sort of people person you've got to be able to talk um, people come to you with problems you get a bit of a problem solver and you make people look good so I love what I do um, I like interacting caring about people's lives building up relationships um, and I just love it, <laughs> basically. Just don't give up. No matter what comes, what gets chucked, what cards you get dealt, there's always, always, always a way out. And there's always a better future. If you want to work hard for it, then it's definitely there for the taking.